Hi guys, this is Alicia Pease with Catalyst Soccer. So I'm here with Trinity today and some of the exercises we're going to be doing are for ankle strengthening. She's had some ankle issues in the past, um, just simple things, you know, little sprains here and there, nothing major. But whenever you've got something that always kind of seems to happen, you've got a certain quad that pulls over and over, or it's this one knee that keeps bothering you, even though it's little things, you want to keep a regular routine of maintaining it so that it doesn't become a bigger thing three or four year later, years later down the road. So what we're gonna start with, she's gonna bend her knees. I'm gonna put this band, it's just a circular resistance yoga band. We're gonna put it right around her toes like this. We're gonna put the soccer ball in between her heels. That's gonna keep her feet from sliding together. And then she's gonna pull her pinky toes apart. Pull, 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 and then just bring her big toes back in. Pinky toes apart, big toes back in. Now as she's doing this, I'm looking to make sure that her knees aren't moving because if her knees open up, then her hips are doing the work. And I want her to feel this along the outside of her ankle and coming up the outside of her shin here. Good. So you can do a lot of those going out. So now we want to work another direction. So now we want it to go in. So she's going to just straighten that one, then this one. So this is easy to do putting the band around the leg of a table or you could have your parent hold on to it. So now I'm just gonna wrap it around her big toe and she's gonna do the opposite. She's gonna pull her big toe in and then bring her pinky toe out. Again, I'm looking for the same thing, that her knee isn't moving. She's not bringing the knee in and out and making the hip do the work, but it's just that big toe coming in and out. So she's feeling this on the inside of her ankle and coming up the inside here. Now the next one, these ones are also good for working on shin splints. So shin splints tend to happen when you do a lot of running on hard surfaces. Um, track runners, cross country runners, they get a lot of it, but soccer players definitely can as well. Uh, this muscle right here, the anterior tibialis, right on the shin is also used a lot in striking the ball. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna put it on her toe. I'm gonna hold the band here and she's gonna bring her toe up towards her body flexing this muscle and then she's just going to point it away and she's going to pull it up and point down pull it up point down so again we can anchor the band to the leg of a table or a chair or have somebody hold on to it for you and now the other one she's going to hold on to it so i'm going to put the band on the bottom of her toes she's going to grab it she's just going to pull it up right above her knee now this is a good one also to work on locking your ankle for striking the ball so now she's going to point her toe away from her go as far as she can and then bring it back up. And she's gonna point it away and come back up. Point it away, come back up. Good, so we're basically just thinking about how we can use this band to work the four directions with the ankle. Now another one that's good for ankle range of motion is your ABCs. So you wanna kinda of prop your leg up. You could do this hanging off the edge of your couch or your bed, it's very easy. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna use her big toe and she's gonna draw out every letter of the alphabet. A, B, C, and she's just gonna try to make each of those letters as big as possible. So just draw that all the way out. A, cross with B. And we wanna limit how much she's turning that hip. So if we need to, I can hold her leg still so only the ankle is doing the work. And this is gonna be really good. One, it's gonna help with the skills. It's gonna give you a lot more fluid motion and more range of motion in your foot, which is good for the ball control and moves. Uh, but also, you know, those times in the games where you get a little bit of a wobble out of your ankle, you wanna be able to have that range of motion so that nothing snaps and it's not really rigid and tight. So she would go through the entire alphabet doing it on this foot, and then she would do the same thing on the other foot. So those are just some really simple exercises. Um, even if you don't have an injury presently, it's something you can do to lower the risk of an injury coming. Or if you've got kind of a nagging little thing, you're gonna keep it from getting worse and becoming a big issue later on. So do these exercises on a regular basis, the same way you go out and you do your skills and practices on a regular basis to help keep your body in good shape.